Let me open the Q&A. Hopefully it opens. There we go. You know, it's weird. It, it'll say, uh, so yeah, here we are. This is what, show two, oh no, it's not 266. I have to rename that. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. It's uh, 267. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I guess it is. I yeah. copy and paste it. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> you know, why type when you can copy and paste? That's you know right. That's, that's, that's exactly just, it. Agreed. That's just the way it is. You, you know what's weird, Mark, is I can add the theme and all that same stuff from here, but I swear to God, if I were to do a theme mm -hmm. uh, deal, it wouldn't work out. But I can do it and start the show immediately, and it's all good. It's yeah, just, yeah. No, I, oh, so you think when you set a theme, when you set up the show, it doesn't it doesn't work? Or yeah. It doesn't, it for, for some reason, when I do an event, okay. If I, if I do it as an event, like now I did it as an event. Well, I've been doing it as an event the last few weeks, and mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you ever noticed, but for the show, I can put the same uh, cool uh, Google. Uh, theme picture and stuff that they have, and, okay. and but I can't do it if I set it up as a um, uh, hangout. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But if if I were to like have set this up yesterday, it's like the theme. I mean, the event doesn't work. It's weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been just doing my thing on Saturday. I've just been setting up as a uh, as a I guess a hangout. Plan a hangout in the future. I go okay. to Hangouts on the air and plan it in the future, but it still shows up as an event. <laughs> I, I don't know what they're... They, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> Google's got this thing all jacked up. So the, we're on Share a Beer 267. This is the April Fool show. I, I don't know if we could have set this up any more perfect, man. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we planned ahead. We looked, you know, five, five, six years ago, we looked back and we said, okay... <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah. Because you've got to plan this out, right? This is uh, what, how often, let's see, would you have to Once every six years, maybe? I don't know. Is it six or every four? How does that work with the calendar type stuff? Uh, uh, usually, usually it'll drift uh, certain days. It might go ahead a day or back. I don't know how, it's, how it really works. Uh, but I know there were times my birthday used to fall on the weekend, and now it doesn't fall on the weekend anymore. It probably won't be a for a while, where it does again. Yeah. Uh, once you start throwing leap years in the equation, it throws all the days off. All right. So I'm going. I'm on what day of the week dot org. Let's see. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> it's the 91st day of the year. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. I, oh, I, this is the 91st day. Okay. Right I on. Yes. Yeah. Um. No, that doesn't. Oh, so some sometimes it's coming, it's getting closer to the hundredth day of the year, or or is it we're kind of at its peak, and sometimes it's closer to the eighty fifth day of the year or something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't, well, it'd only be at one or two days because of um, leap year. I you know, that. this is this is like one of those. Like I went to my local bar. Uh, yesterday afternoon for early happy hour ish time mm -hmm. and uh, I it might have seen me on uh, untapped I posted a couple of Miller lights that I was having um, yeah Brandon noticed and uh, yeah after quite a few of the Miller lights uh, there was some deep conversation going on <laughs> over there man this dude was breaking down gravity he was like yeah cool. man Gravity is heavy. There must have been some weed in his uh, Miller Lite because oh, okay. He, we were having one of them conversations. You know what I'm saying? He was like, uh, "Yeah, man." Yeah, yeah the last the last time April first was on a Tuesday was 2008. Okay, so that's oh. that's, uh, that's six years ago. That's yeah. six years ago. Okay, so that works out. All right. Yeah. So there we go, man. This is the yeah. first yeah. April Fool's share of beer ever. Ever? So, yeah. yeah ever. ever. In the yeah. history of stair beers, yeah. In the history, well, you know what? I wonder because we used to do it on Mondays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let me see. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, let's see, 2007. Uh, April 1st was. Now that was a leap year. Oh. So let's go no. to nine. April 1st was on a Tuesday in 2009. I was on a Wednesday. 
See, yeah. See, by the time we switched it to Tuesdays, so it, it, it's still yeah. this is ever this is yeah. this is the first. Yeah, because last year was on a Monday. That was the most recent one, and we were we were doing Tuesdays. We've been yeah. doing Tuesdays for, for years. Yeah, three or four years. Yeah. Yeah, easy. Um, cool, man. So this is the first April Fool share of beer ever. Yes. You guys are a part of history, man. That's right. Amazing. See, it, it, how does that feel, Barrick? How, how, what do you think about that, man? Being being a part of history. <laughs> you gotta love history, man. Yeah, you gotta love. Hey, it, when you start getting the grays and the beard, you're a part of some history somewhere. Yeah. Anywhere, right? You've definitely experienced some history. Yeah. <laughs> experience some history, whether you like it or not, right? You're a part yeah. of some sort of damn history somewhere, right? Yeah. Got a damn camera lined up. Yeah, okay. oh yeah. There you go. If, if, if I get mine aligned to where you just actually don't see me, everything improves dramatically. It's like HD. <laughs> <laughs> HD Joe D. HD Joe D, that's right, man. So what are you drinking, Barrick? Actually, right now I'm not drinking anything, but I'm going to go pour myself one. Uh, last week, I'm sorry, guys, I missed. Uh, my kids were in town, and it was their last day, and I wanted to spend as much time with them as I could. And I hadn't seen my kids in a year and a half, so yeah, that's... I want to spend a lot of time with them. That, hey, like... you, you missed a Dave appearance, man. Dave was here last week. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. I'll be damned. I'm going to go grab myself a homebrew. I made one of the best homebrews that I can remember, and I'm enjoying the hell out of it. So uh, I'll tell you about it when I go get it. Give me a minute, all right? I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> what? All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, mm. I am having some of Albuquerque's finest water right here. Okay. But, you know, actually... We had uh, someone, when we first moved in this house, someone came and tested the water trying to sell us a, a, a system, you know, mm -hmm. one of them uh, water systems, uh, purification systems, and he goes, you know what? Yeah, well, your water is actually pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, I, I guess from all the other places he had been in town, you know, he was like, man, your water is actually pretty good. I think I'll just be leaving. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. Cool. So and that's that's actually right out of the tap, believe it or not. Wow. There you go. I am, I am drinking one of my homebrew. It's a, a very light IPA, and it oh, is yeah. just really good. Great color. It's got a nice head, man. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. 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 All day, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. It is smooth. Mm. I think Greg would like that, actually. I think any of you guys would like it. Yeah. Now, is th that's a sessionable? Uh, yeah, it's kind of on the order of, uh, like, I don't know if you guys had Sweetwater's IPA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of on that order. Not overly oh. bitter. Not really bitter, hardly at all. Yeah. Uh, but it's got a really strong uh, citrus. Hmm. Cascade, citra hops, cascade hops. Really, really good. Cool. Just really, and and your temperature over there, so that sounds like a really good after lawnmower beer. Right yeah, there. it is. Mm -hmm. uh, the temperature here, hold on, I think it's, we did have a cold front blow through and it only got that's, to like 75. Yeah, um, see, that's, on. you got to watch out, man. Woo. Hey, I got another badge. Ooh, yes. yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the badges, man. Untapped, baby. Logger Jack level two. <laughs> Sweet. I just got the All American because uh, I'm drinking this quality malt beverage. Let's say quality. It's the same brewery, but I'm having this beer called uh, Bud Light Platinum. I bought it in mm -hmm. bomber size because I really wanted to enjoy this beer on this April Fool's edition of. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. You know, I couldn't finish one of those, Brandon. I try, uh, the the local pub I hung out at uh, had them on sale for like two bucks. I I couldn't finish it. I I believe that that platinum is sweeter actually than uh, strawberry Rita. 
<laughs> Approaching, yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, it, that might be it. That, might that be has got to be the sweetest beer ever. I mean, it's, it is sweet. Who's the caveman there who joined us? Look at that. That's what I'm saying. Look at this guy. He's yeah. he's uh he's out from yeah. winter hibernation. That's really? right. That's right, man. Yeah. Right. Shit happens. <laughs> it's been a cold that, one here. That that was up to two words right there, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That that was a full out. You know that was like a full editorial right there from Dave, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I haven't seen you in a long time, man. Oh, man, doing good, doing good. I'm trying to get situated here. I was running a little bit late tonight. Running around doing a bunch of crap I didn't want to, but... Yeah. Now, Dave, are you guys still piled under uh, the winter ice and snow right now, or...? No, we're not. We're It's getting cold again. It was cold. It was warm for a few days. We're, we're, we don't, don't have any snow on the ground. Now, I bet you you're, you're getting the same cold front the barrack is down there. It's like unbearable <laughs> down there. It is unbearable down there, man. Yeah. Is he wearing a yeah. No, but it is, it is strange. It is strange to be uh, April and get up this morning and have the temperature 50 in the morning, which is unusual for Florida. <laughs> yeah. It really is. I mean, I'm sorry. I give up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he's talking to the no rest sympathy. of the no sympathy. Yeah, that's everybody else's high. Yeah. Like, <laughs> my wife my wife walked out of the door this morning with to take the dogs out. She says, Jesus Christ, it's freezing out here. <laughs> yeah. so she grabbed a coat. You, you know what's freeze. what's funny is it don't take you very long to be in that kind of climate to be the same way. You know what I'm saying? To be like, whoa, god damn, I wish I'd have brought a jacket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, you get pretty Pretty used to warm temperatures quick. And, and and for April, I mean, usually April mornings are 65, you know, not 50, yeah. or 48 or whatever the hell it was. Um, hey, wait, we got a new thing here. What the hell is this? Almost got this thing licked. As oh. in, almost finished the Bud Light Platinum. Oh, okay. I, I <laughs> yeah. Is that new? Is that new on uh, Google Plus? No, they've been. It uh, just flashed a thing on me. There was a it. message. Never seen that before. Oh, okay, so you didn't have chat open, but it, it notified you that there was a message. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, okay. I I always get that because uh, I always have the Q and A open, mm -hmm. and so it'll. Put a little deal up there that there's a new chat message, uh, and then I get the little number next to the chat mm -hmm. uh, to let me know how many there is. And so uh, I, I very rarely open it though, because I, I I stay on the Q and A in case you know because we have such a flood of questions coming mm -hmm. to the show. Oh hell yeah! From from the thousands oh. of viewers out there, you know what I'm saying? At least four, four or five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, four or five thousand viewers okay. <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you just add zeros. It's kind of like your bank account. You just add zeros to make it sound better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're like, yeah, we got four or five thousand dollars in our account. <laughs> Yeah, you know, just to make yourself feel better, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. So, so Brandon, how how are things going with that uh, special beverage? Oh man, I can't you tell I've been enjoying it. I mean, I'm enjoying it so much. I'm making this face every time I take a sip, and I'm just really just working through this. It is a labor of love. Uh -huh. Well-crafted, quality malt beverage, let me tell you. The only way you can get even more premium is to have double imperial mango Rita. Oh, yeah. Platinum. Platinum. Hey, Brandon, how many of those things have you drank? Uh, actually, this is my first one. I'm going to get oh, okay. it after this. <laughs> You know what though? I mean, he he is drinking a bomber, and and that beer does have some alcohol in it. What is that? A six percent? Six percent. I have a, a bomber of a Stone Imperial Russian Stout in my fridge, oh, which really yeah, this well, is a girly man beer compared to that one. Yeah, well, yeah, compared to that, yeah. It did. yeah that's, uh, 
but as far as you know, they keep advertising that fortune. Uh, it wasn't bad. But I wish I would have had it like they're advertising it in, in like a uh, uh, double shot glass or something a little bigger than that uh, with some ice. I wish I would have tried it like that because they hmm. keep advertising it like that. That's for sure. Is that what? That's like eight percent, isn't it? Seven or eight percent. Mm, seven, yeah, seven. Okay. Seven something, seven point two or. Okay, yeah, it's got, it's got a little seven, bit. Seven What's two or seven eight, something like that. That new Miller Fortune. Yeah, it's not a bad beer. I'll actually like it better than Bud Light Platinum because uh, it actually has flavor. It's like a amped up Miller High Life to me. I don't really get the bourbon flavor so much in it, but it, it it's not a bad beer. No, it's not. It's not bad. It it does have some flavor though. It's and and it's not just sweet like that platinum he's yeah. drinking. Good mm. lord, I, I I couldn't even finish it, man. It was horrible. That that platinum is pretty. And you know, like I, I don't mind uh, Yingling. You know, and yeah, I saw Mark pouring that Yingling, man. Uh, mm-hmm. That's what they Yeah, sixteen ounce can, a four pack for three ninety nine. Can't be. That's a very Budweiser ish looking can, isn't it? It is, yeah. But it doesn't look like Budweiser in a glass. Look at that. No, no. It's nothing to write home to mom about, but it's it's certainly not uh, that platinum. Mm. Shit. No, it's drinkable. It's definitely drinkable. Yes, I'd much rather have this than this platinum, let me tell you. But, you know, I, I, what can you do? I don't get Yingling here, so I drank uh, Bud Light Platinum. Okay, that was my next question. If, yeah. if you got Yingling uh, over there, I was wondering how far west it goes. You know, you're, you're right at the Mississippi, no? Or uh, Yeah, I'm right at the Mississippi. I only live well, about two miles from Mississippi River. Yeah. Well, they're, they're out of Pennsylvania, aren't they, Mark? Yep. Pottsville, yeah. Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah, and I get them here in Florida. Matter of fact, the biker bar hangout—that's their biggest seller. Well, they they have a um, they have a brewery in Florida. They, they have do? one in uh, I think Tampa. Yeah. Oh, do they really? Oh, <clears throat> yeah, they opened up a they opened up a brewery or bought a brewery or or something in Tampa a few years ago, which but is. Yeah. I don't get them here in Illinois either. We'll get you inland here. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I, he's. I didn't get it in Michigan. When I lived in Michigan, when I moved to Florida, that's the first I'd ever heard of it. Hmm. Okay. No, it's. I mean, it's. It it is what it is, but yeah, it's kind of like a shiner. It's like the shiner of Pennsylvania, you know, of the east, of the northeast. You know, they do. I mean, it's it's a step above your basic macro. It's not craft. A, a tiny step, but yeah, it is. <clears throat> Now speaking of bikes, we have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Brain Dump uh, said uh, just to be just to be first. Any of you guys ride bikes, motorbikes? Here comes the flood. Um, I, I, Greg rides out of the group here. Uh, yeah. I don't know, Dave. Do you do you ride, Dave? Not anymore, no. Yeah, so I I know Greg does, and Barrick and I hang out with a lot of bikers. Uh, I just a wannabe. Yeah, 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 just kind of a wannabe. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a wannabe, uh, it, because all my friends personally that have bikes are actually wrecking right now. So, <laughs> yeah. um, it's kind of you don't want to be uh, part of that group, man. Yeah, I thought maybe after uh, you know my little situation that maybe I'd buy a bike, but oh, I keep running into people that are jacked up right now, man. You know, you know that's the thing, man. I hear you, Joe. I'm 52, and do I really want to start? All these guys in my club are getting, you know, they're either dying or they're getting their legs broke up. They're getting their everything, you know. It's, yeah. Do I want to be another fucking number? Oh, excuse me. Do I want to be another number? I don't know. No. Yeah. And it's, it's, I mean, it, it, it's fun, yeah. but, uh, yeah. I've been I, driving all my life. You know, that'd be different. But, you know, just at 52 to start on it, I was yeah. 16 and I rode dirt bikes, but that's it. That's a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's two kinds of motorcycle riders: those who have crashed, and those who are gonna crash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. I rode them for. I mean, I just got rid of my last bike here about a year ago. I've always had multiple bikes, rode them, rode them, rode them, and I, used to, I actually started to get a little nervous. I was like, well, you know what? I, I haven't laid one, piled one up yet. I should probably just go ahead and call this good, call it a win, yeah. and just be done with it. You know? Quit while you're ahead. Yeah. yeah. Everybody I know with a bike has wrecked. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be just kind of. They happened to just tip it over, and it was no big deal. They just picked up their bike and polished it off, and it was all good. To full out, like 
hospitalized for a few weeks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and the guy yesterday that I ran into, uh, we're more of an acquaintance than anything, but arm in a sling. What happened, dude? You know, and man, I wrecked on my bike and, you know, the whole story, you know, uh, got, yeah. got hit and, you know, collarbones broken a couple places uh, type thing. And, you know, I'm like, oh, man, you know, as cool as they look, you know, you know one of the guys a few houses down is part of a, a pretty good sized club, man. So it's it's it, it sucks to look at all them dudes. You know, it's like, man, that, that's pretty that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, that's, that's why I'm kind of a permanent hang around. I <laughs> Yeah. I, I talked with the president of the club and said, "Hey, I really have no intentions of getting a bike anytime soon. You know, I, I'm actually part of the club. I'm a hang around, but I'm. I just said, hey, you know, I really don't plan on getting a bike. He says, oh, don't worry about it. Now, now, Brain Dump says he's been riding 40 years, no crash. Wow. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. Yeah, yeah. I, I swear to God, dude. Yeah, yeah I swear. I swear. Yeah. Not that's, no yeah. Word. Yeah, you better knock on the wood fast <laughs> and hard. <laughs> but hands above the table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. I said fast and hard in the same sentence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wood, wood, fast and hard all at the same time. Yeah, just stay yeah. off camera. Stay off camera. Yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> well. Yeah, go to chat roulette or something, whatever. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chat roulette, yeah. That's perfect, yes. Or the Uno game uh, in in the Xbox, and, you know, that's where all that goes on, too. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, Earl wants to know what's the latest on Zach's chain reaction. Uh, we'd have to have Zach here. I, I don't know any updates. Uh, I think, he, what did he say, last week there were... Waiting to get some plumbing done and whoa, whoa, whoa! You know, <laughs> May first, May first, May first. Not that's that there's anything wrong with that. Not that <laughs> there's anything wrong with that. You know, yes. <laughs> got a lace. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, I mean, hey, to each his own, man. You know, not not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just. <laughs> it's just... You know, everybody's plumbing to their own, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So that's Zach's update right there. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, we kinda, okay. I think we just kind of backhanded Zach a little bit there, man. But uh... yeah. He's not but even I'm here to defend himself. <laughs> we'll let him give the real update. Sometime. Yeah. Yeah, he, he can he can update that however he wants yeah. to, man, you know. I, th I, think look, I think he's looking like May is what he's thinking probably. Probably yeah. sometime in May or maybe even June now. Yeah, yeah it, it might be June, it sounds like, you know. Yeah. I, mean, I know he can't wait. I know that. I, it's got to be killing him. Yeah, uh are um, And then he has a, a, a brain up has another one here. Um uh, you guys need to get over to Belgium. Uh, Thirty plus percent beers there. Uh, hey, that sounds that, like pleasant. That it kind of does, doesn't it, man? Because I've had some seriously like a stuff that's you know right around twenty, and it's practically a spirit. It that, is, uh, yeah. You almost have to distill it to get it to be that. I mean, fun. it's. I mean, you're really right in the fine. I mean, you've got who's that extreme brewery from the UK? Oh, um. Uh, um Brew something or other, isn't it? Brewdog. Brewdog. Brew dog. Yeah. yeah. I, I now they're the ones that have have those seriously extreme beers. Uh, mm -hmm. Utopia is a, f a very famous one as well. Uh, I've never had Utopias, but just to listen to Greg talk about it and some of the others uh, that have had it, it's 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 a spirit, you know. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah. I've had some that are eighteen percent myself, and uh, good God, I mean they're hot. You yeah. know. Yeah. Yep. You know, this I'm drinking one of these Dogfish Head 90 Minute Imperial IPAs. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's another one that's got. Yeah. I it's I think it's fucking horrible. Is it really sweet? Is it too sweet for you? No, it's hot. It's just really? it's unpleasant, and I'm I'm okay with like double digit you know stouts and like that Dirty Wolf I was drinking last week. That was a nine or an eight seven or something like that, and this oh. thing is just. I don't know. I think this. I haven't, is I haven't had that in a while. I've had uh, sixty. I had. I tend to have sixty minute more than ninety minute, and sixty minutes a pretty solid IPA. Is it? 
That yeah. One, uh, yeah, this is the first time I've had this. This one's 9%. And I, it's not just the alcohol percent. It's just that they didn't, I don't know, I don't think it blended well. Something It really doesn't even, it's not much, It's not very hoppy for an IPA for one. You know, you hear that a lot from that particular beer. Mm-hmm. Uh, it seems like certain batches some people like better than others, too. That could be. It's just It's just mm-hmm. hot and unpleasant to me. I don't, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't know. That's you do hot. hear that. I never had a problem with that beer myself. Every, I don't. I don't get dogfish head over here, so every time I get 90 minutes, I have to go to Texas to get it. But I've never had a problem with that beer. I mean, it's not like it's the hoppiest of the hoppy out there. I mean, if you right. look at that, you're gonna miss that. But it, right. as far as I'm concerned, it certainly does have a uh, pretty good flavor and goes really great with pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you know what? <clears throat> Let's. While you're talking about that, what's your favorite pizza beer? Uh, Brandon. Oh man! Uh, if I had the choice, uh, especially if I say I was eating pizza at home, I would probably go with uh, just like I always do, with something a little, uh, a little more uh, fatty, like pizzas. You go with an IPA, go with, like Urban Hop Executioner, or go with a Stone IPA, or something like that. Something that can just really uh, stand up to the uh, the fats and the dairy and the meats and stuff like that. If you're going with a vegetarian pizza, I probably would go with more like say like a wheat beer or stuff like that, something like that. And Mark, what what would be your favorite uh, pizza beer? I a good solid pale ale, uh, yeah. Dale's pale ale, Sierra Nevada yeah, yeah. pale ale, uh, Sweetwater um, IPA goes goes well too. I mean, yeah. I mean, like Brandon said, IPAs go really good with that kind of tomato sauce, pepperoni. Um, you definitely want something that's not super malty, something that's um, got a little bit of hop, but not too much. So a good, yeah. a good pale ale. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. And Dave, what, what would you say, man? Good, good. I do not drink while I'm eating. I only. I, I don't know why. I've never been a fan of drinking any kind of alcoholic beverage. I mean, I, usually I just drink water. You know, when I even when I'm at a restaurant or whatever, I just drink water while I'm eating. For some reason, I just I don't like flavored liquid while I'm eating. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh man, that would be a great show title right there, man. I swear to God, if it wasn't April, there you go, you got that it. That would be it. Dave is back, man. <laughs> the second week, and he's crushing it already, man. Yeah. Are you kidding? I don't like flavored water. What was that flavored liquid? Wow. <laughs> When I'm eating. Episode 267. I don't like flavored liquid while I'm eating. <laughs> that's, good. Great, that's, man. Man. That's, that's in the can. Oh, dude, that's yeah. on a shirt right there. That's t shirt material right yeah. there. Man. Yeah. That is line du jour right there, man. I swear to God. That was excellent, man. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's a fan of, he's a fan yeah, of drink right. your dinner. Yeah, drink your why, dinner. Why spoil a good right. beer with food? Yeah, yeah, when you can, yeah, drink your dessert, that's for sure. <clears throat> oh, that's excellent. Oh god, that was freaking hysterical, man. <laughs> I don't uh, like. uh, Mr. and Mrs. B uh, says Sam Adams goes with everything. Uh, Boston Lager is a pretty good beer with uh, pizza if that's your only option. Uh, definitely I would agree with you on that one. Yeah, uh, Boston Lager is a decent beer. Yeah, uh, oh, that's hysterical, dude. That cracked me the hell up. I, I personally would agree with, uh, man, several styles. It depends. For me, it depends on the pizza. If I'm having like a Domino's or something, uh, I mean, uh, you know, like Domino's or a freaking Pizza Hut or any one of the big boys, I mean, I mean I'm just going to go for something just as cheap as that pizza, right? I mean, yeah. Maybe maybe it might even be that damn platinum you just had. I mean, it, it, anything kind of goes with those. Uh, <clears throat> well, I'm not going to go that far, right? Okay. But regular uh, Bud Light, regular Bud Light. There you go. You know what? Bud, I, I would rather have Bud Red, man. I mean that. Bud Red. Yeah, that. I mean the red can is. It's not a sweet man. The lights are just too sweet, huh? The Bud Light Platinum and the and the mm-hmm. Bud Light are just, they're, they're, I went to a, a friend's regular party. Bud, regular Miller, regular Coors, something like that. Yeah, something regular, yeah, yeah like that. Yeah. But if I'm having, uh, you know, we've got some good pizza shops here in town, and, uh, you know, they have a good, like, spicy, not a sweet sauce on their pizza. Um, lots of more, I don't know, 
how fresh pepperoni is, but I mean the more of a spicy type pepperoni. Mm-hmm. Uh, then yeah, I would be inclined to say uh, a really good for me, not so hoppy pale ale though. You got to kind of say that, right? Uh, right? Or or for me, like a really good mellow malty brown ale. You know? Mm-hmm. Yep, brown ale would go good. Yeah. I agree. Hey, can I uh, make a? I don't know if you any guys had the Sam Adams Summer Variety Pack yet? Not yet. I'm no. processing that until it's actually closer to summer. Yeah, uh, some people are thawing out still, Barrett. And, <laughs> yeah. it's supposed yeah, to start uh, snowing here in a couple hours. <laughs> I'll, I'll see this. Um, you know, Sam Adams is kind of my go-to cheap beer. I don't go to Bud or anything like that. It's kind of my go-to cheap beer. I, I enjoy it. I'm going to session some beers. But that summer stuff is just absolutely horrible. Don't waste your money on it. There's a blueberry one that tastes like nothing. It just tastes doesn't even taste like beer. It tastes like blueberries. Ooh. We got a what was it called? Something porch something porch rocket or something. Porch rocker, yeah. Porch rocker, yeah. Just tasted like lemonade. The the oh, wow. the sun was horrible. I dumped. It. I took one sip and dumped it. Mm. I haven't dumped a beer in forever. It was horrible. What was it? The spring? I got. I think I got the spring pack from Sam Adams. That that wasn't too bad. That's good. Yeah, but they had a couple the IPAs and things in there. Yeah, yeah. The no, the, the, was just horrible. The pack that I'm working on right now, I tell you, man, and I, I hadn't had it in at least a year and a half or so. Uh, revisited it. Uh, the Kirkland, man. The I mean, all them freaking oh. beers from Kirkland, man, are solid. Solid, man. Are I solid, ain't kidding yeah. you, man. That whole pack. I don't know what was it, eighteen bucks or something. Yeah, I was going to say about eighteen bucks for a case. Yeah, yeah. At, at Costco, Costco's beer. No, no, no. We're oh, okay. Yeah, the Where's Kirtland brand. From? Did they add any new ones, Joe? Did they have what, no. like an amber? They have an IPA. Yeah, there's an amber. Uh, oh Christ! I mean, I got the. It's yeah. I, I haven't. I haven't get it, but it's. Uh, it's just right there, but it's. Uh, I don't feel like getting yeah. it, but it. Yeah, it's like you have an amber. You have uh, there's two different IPAs in there. Um, there's a pale ale. There's a pale yeah, ale. Yeah, th- that's what it is. I'm sorry, the pale ale. There's an IPA, the amber, and something else. A wheat maybe. I think it is. Yeah, I think it's like a wheat. Um, yeah. But I, I, that's I, a great I, deal. I, they're yeah. all solid, man. I mean, they're mm-hmm. nothing seriously special, but at the same time, a really good. Mm-hmm. Seriously sessionable pack. The whole pack is well. That's what I normally like about Sam Adams. It's it's sessionable, solid, but the summer stuff is just not good. Not, I I could only drink two of them. I drank their summer ale and the Boston Lager. All the other ones I gave to Lori, and she didn't like them either. But she drank them. Okay, here we go. We've got one from Harry here. Um, yeah, I got a couple I'm, from Harry. It looks like I'm yeah. from the UK. I think this was his first one. Moving to Texas in August. Do you guys drink much ale? Uh, just so I can prepare. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You know, uh, whether it be drink or chug or shotgun. You know, I mean, whatever your preference. If you're moving to, te- if no, you're moving to Texas, might be just make about. sure you're going to Austin. Yeah. Don't move yeah. anywhere in Texas he is. except he for is. Austin. His next question is he's moving to Austin. So okay. That is the only place him. in Texas that exists. I would, you either I would, fly I would into Austin. Austin. Yeah. yeah, Austin is okay, but driving to Austin, like Austin you should just have to transport into. The rest of Texas just sucks. <laughs> I dispute that. I dispute that. San Antonio is a city I do like in Texas. I went San Antonio is a cool city too. Brandon, Brandon, I went to San Antonio and I thought it was okay. Yeah, San Antonio isn't bad. Austin is the shit though. Austin is insanely cool. I hope you like music, uh, Harry, because there's some great music there. Music Um, and beer. And as far as beers, I don't know. Texas breweries. Brandon, I mean, there's uh, real ale, real ale, real ale, ale. five one two, um, Lord's Sons, uh, Chester see. King. Everyone knows about St. Arnold, uh, at least. St. Arnold. Yeah. Uh, that's like Houston though, but. Uh, but yeah, real. I mean, Austin for me, the Beer one, Works yeah, is really yeah, good. Austin Beer Works is is good. Real ale. I mean, that's the one I've had that I was been really impressed. Well, Austin with. has a ton of them, and mm-hmm. Austin is like kind of the next Oscar Blues hub, so they get a lot of rare Oscar Blues stuff down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Um, and you're I moving there you, in August, so it's going to be nice and warm. Oh, oh, oh dear God, yes. Oh, oh, I hope you like man. the movie, Harry, because it's going to oh, be... Oh, oh, brutal, boy. man. Oh, dear God. Oh, it's... I, just take lots of knives and saws so you can cut the freaking air there, man. That's right. I can... Oh, it's like going to the Amazon bush, except for air. It's, it no, is it's there in a thick. second. Bush. But it's a cool town. He said bush. <laughs> bush. bush. <laughs> <laughs> but Corpus Christi is cool. I've been, I've, I've been to all parts of Texas, personally. I've been on every damn road, even the, even the FM roads, the farm roads there in Texas, man. Uh, you name it, I've been there. And... Uh, uh, Corpus Christi's cool, and if you like border towns, uh, Brownsville is pretty nice when you get down there, bro. Um, mm-hmm. It's about the only one you won't get your head cut off and put on a stick. Not bad. Yeah. Given the choice, I'd rather go to that place than the one where you do get your head cut off and put on a stick. I think. I'd yeah, you know, yeah. Like if you go to the border town just south of me. Yeah. Good chance you get your head cut off and put on a stick. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 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 The only problem is you don't really remember all that part. Obviously <laughs> not if you're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you all you remember is the dull knife that they used. Oh yeah. dear God! You can't even use a sharp knife. Yeah. Yeah, they don't even use a sharp knife, man. They like whip out a dull knife. The dull. So knife. I don't know if you're wondering about Harry. If you're wondering about real ale, out of like the uh, the cask with. Um, uh, what do they call those things? The beer engine, where they where they get the ale out of the cask. There's mm-hmm. probably not a lot of that, but there's I don't some know, man. Uh, what, what, very what, good craft uh, beers there. Yeah, I wish uh, what's his name was here. Uh, Skyler could tell you a lot of what was yeah, going on. Skyler, yeah. yeah, Skyler's our Texas uh, connection. And as a matter of fact, he's from Southern Texas too, yes. where where he's, he's about in, to go to. Yep. And, um, and Houston, not that not that far away from uh, Austin, really. Yeah. Uh, well, so, yeah, uh, Harry, by the way, uh, watch uh, Mike Capera's show, What's You Drinking? Scholar and I usually both show up on that show uh, so you can ask questions about um, Texas beer to Skyler, and uh, he will definitely be able to answer some of the questions that we can't answer right now. He knows a lot more of what's going on in the local scene in Texas than we do. Yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, Brandon, um, what what's the name of that show again? And tell him what day and time it comes on. Uh, what's You Drinking? It comes on... Uh, 8 Central Time uh, on Wednesdays. Wednesdays, uh, yeah. Tomorrow, 8 Central Time. So tune in around then. Uh, like I said, add Mike Capera. Uh, he sometimes joins into the show, so you might have seen him here. you watched the show before, or you might not have, but he's he doesn't come on very often because he works, but he does have his own show. So uh, it's kind of the sister show to Sarah Beer. Uh, Sarah Beer, excuse me. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to cover uh, this question from Earl really quick. Uh, the What cigar would be good for this time in the evening? Because uh, Earl's in my time zone, so I can I can answer this. Uh, yeah, it's like, it, it, you know, if right you're having... Yeah, it's right after work. What are you going right to get work. off work? Yeah, you probably just had or are having dinner. Uh, I would recommend the strongest goddamn thing you can take. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you're personally, I, I would have a Maduro for real, uh, or a double Maduro. I mean, that's that's Ooh. just me. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not a Churchill guy now. Greg smokes them big Churchills. You know, um, I'm not, uh, but that's a personal thing. Um, but yeah, one of them real nice dark cigars right now, man, would be legit. For me, it's too windy outside. I mean, you can hear the house shaking. It's so damn windy here. The wind has sucked up here lately too. Yeah, yeah, it's it's been bad. So, I don't know if you smoke in the house. You know, if you smoke indoors, and it's not an issue. But uh, yeah, when it's windy, it might as well be raining cats and dogs for me because I I ain't gonna smoke. You know. Yeah. But uh, I thought I would answer that one first. Hey Zach, uh, he did ask you a question to update on chain reaction. Uh, you you want to give? Oh, uh, we just uh, got all the plumbing in today and. Past our plumbing inspection, so <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah. That was making fun of me earlier, Zach, because I said the, the plumbing. 
And Jay, can you stop laughing? <clears throat> yeah, he got all his plumbing in, man. I mean, yeah. that's hey, not that there's anything wrong with that. And you got it inspected too. Yeah, he got it inspected. Yeah. <laughs> so we got we got that done. And then tomorrow we've got an electrical inspection, and uh, then hopefully Thursday we'll replow the floor and be setting the cooler up. Cool. Uh, and that's that's what's going on this week. Fun, fun, fun. No, yeah, so that's uh. You making a lot of beer there, Zach? Lately? No, I don't have time to make any right now. Yeah, he's I've getting got, everything ready. Yeah, I got a lot of other stuff I've got to take care of down there. So. Yeah. And then but once then, you get everything once you get everything built out down there, what do you what do you have about? Four weeks, you were saying? Four or five weeks? Yeah, uh, the state thing, the state stuff should be here. And then, uh, yeah, as soon as we get that floor all done and then the new gas line ran, we should be brewing. And then it'll be about six weeks after we after we first brew. So okay. I'm, I'm really thinking late May now. It's just the city's kind of shot us in our foot a little bit. But mm -hmm. uh, I'm also try, just trying to make sure everything's right the first time. I don't want to be going back on anything and redoing anything when, I, yeah, when yeah. I'm trying to make money. And, you know, what's the most important thing about this whole deal is making quality beer. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so as long as, you know, there's a couple of things that we've had to add here and there, but, uh, and, you know, push us back a couple of weeks at a time, this and that, but it's all worth it in the long run. You know, yeah. what's, an, what's an extra month when it's just all about making that good stuff? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, because you want to make the best product you can make. Well, and there, you know, to me, I know a lot of people like ease into, oh, well, that was our first batch, this and that, and or, or you know, our first run or getting to know the system and stuff. And to me, no, I want to make the top quality right off the bat, and mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't want to have to have those growing pains right there of, mm -hmm. oh, well, that's not what that beer should taste like. Come back in four months, maybe it'll taste different. No, when my beer gets made, it's gonna taste the same that day as it will when, when I'm blue. Yeah, when I'm brewing on a 15 barrel canning, it should taste the exact same, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that first week that we're brewing, yeah. we'll be yeah. brewing about we're gonna brew 26 barrels or something <laughs> in that week. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be an, it's like we'll brew probably 26 different times that week. Wow. Okay. It's well, going to be a lot of sleepless nights. But I was going to say, yeah, twenty six. Yeah, that's 26, a lot. Twenty six. We're doing it. We're gonna. We're set up to do four batches a day. Wow. There, wow. there that first okay. week. So. It gives wow. you like four hours to sleep all week. Okay. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you, you've got the hardest part of it, Zach, too, you know, because you got to, you know. Bossing that finger pointing, man. Yeah, you know. It, you, and it's going to be crooked and broken at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to work in multiple fingers on that deal. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> I mean. Going to have to give it the shocker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, you know. <laughs> To each his own on that one, right? Um, we got another one. Hello from Germany. I will say hello uh, to you with Cam. So, um, and I can't even begin to. What is that? Sidekicks. Sidekicks. Dot de, which is uh, Germany. Yep. So, Deutschland. So, uh, cool. Yeah, looking forward to it, man. You're always welcome, man. Anybody's welcome, really, as long as there's room to fit here in the Google. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Anybody's welcome. As you know, as long as as long as I'll just say this, uh, you know, keep the background noise level down if you can. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, earphones are recommended for that. Um, we've had some people jump in in the past. It was just like unbearable, you know. But yeah, I, I mean, it, everybody's welcome, man. Yeah, we'll just jump in. Did talk. Do you guys hear that mm, mm, mm going on now? It's like it's like a bee buzzing around, like a fly. Yeah, that is. That's not me. No. <laughs> yeah, Barrick. Okay. We always look to Barrick. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, my, right, wife right. has, my wife's sitting over there, and she's not watching television, so we're all good today. She's laughing at all your jokes and everything, but not watching television, so that's good. Yeah. 
Because it, it's share a beer, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, let's see here. We got the last one here from Brain Dump. What is that, man? I don't I don't believe in that uh, shit ride a uh, uh, 210 mile busse busse. Hey guys, I gotta get out of here and eat some dinner. So uh, okay, I'll Zach, see you next week. Thanks for the update, hey, Zach. Yeah, cheers, guys. See you, Zach. And then the the last question we got is, where's the loco? What 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 is that? For lo oh, loco, I guess. For oh. loco, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I just finished <laughs> drinking like seven of them in a row. You got you missed it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, the four, I'm the I'm the I'm the four loco guy here. I've yeah, I've never like had that. it. Yeah, I've no, never had it. Never had it either. <laughs> oh. Okay, he he wants the link. Uh, he's got thirty minutes uh, to talk. Uh, what what is the? Uh, well, if you've got the show, you should be able. To, You're gonna have to get in the circles, right? Is he, is he in my circles? I'm. Let me see. Let me double check. Well, him. if you can watch it, you should be able to. Uh, now you got to be in the circles to be invited. Here, I'll add him. I'll add him to my circles there. He should be in now. Let's see. Yeah. He's in, he in the circle. He accept it, and then he should be good. Yeah. yeah. So he's, he, you're in the circle now, uh, Brain Dump. So um, you should be able to see the uh, – yeah, because the show's public. But to jump in, you have to be invited. Uh, other than that, you know, I really don't – I jump in Mark's show, and that's kind of – it's hard for me because of Mark's is the only show that I jump in. Um, yeah, you got to be in the circles. He has to accept it and then go to Google Plus and see your invitation. Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is. Okay, so that's how you jump in there. Uh, hopefully he got that because, uh, yeah, you've only got 12 minutes. So because we stopped the show – Pronto because it's it's freaking chicken wing Tuesday. It is, man. I'm I'm selling those chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you put extra, extra cayenne pepper on them tonight, man. I can smell them. Oh yeah, man. See, <clears throat> you're trying to kill me. I just I just paid the life insurance premium. I I gotta watch out now, man. <laughs> yeah. Now, now you're speaking Brandon's language there, man. Cayenne pepper and chicken wings. That is. There you go. That of course. Is, uh, I went to Buffalo Wild Wings for lunch and had uh, the mango habanero sauce, which really helped clear my sinuses. But Ooh, that's one of my favorite sauces awesome. over there. Yeah, that's that's a pretty that's a pretty hot sauce for them, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Higher than blazing, in my opinion, but that's just my personal opinion. Hmm. Well, it's definitely it. sweeter, and sometimes that sweet and that hot together makes it makes it worse. I think, or better, I, depending how you look at it. Oh, Barrick was gone. I didn't get Barrick's. Which? What would be your favorite pizza beer? My favorite? I don't eat pizza. Oh, wow. Not very often, but I guess if I did... Oh, wow, that's a good question. I guess I would say either an I, a mild IPA or a pale ale, a strong pale ale or a mild IPA. Okay. That's yeah, pretty that much seems to be like, yeah. like Sweetwater, uh, yeah. maybe the High Life from Cigar City, something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, that's, you know, to off, it's pizza is, but I, I did walk in, Joe, when you were saying, you know, cheap pizza is bland, but, you know, if it's a good pizza, it's got a lot of flavor, I'd want something... Yeah. A beer with a little bit of uh, a little bit of balls to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, not that there's anything bad. wrong with that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah, there is a Mountain Oysters beer. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, there is a beer with balls yeah. in it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, I want something with a little bit of flavor to it. Yeah. yeah. Like an I a mild IPA or a uh, a pale ale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That. You know, uh, I, I I was I thought that'd be a good question because I I believe every place on the planet has pizza. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, pretty much, yeah. Anywhere you go, there's pizza. I think I globally, have, you, you know, it, I think it's a, a a food that everyone's had. No. Right. Yeah. I have gallbladder issues, so I can't eat a lot of pizza. But 
you know, maybe once a month, maybe at the most. At oh, the most. okay. But if I do, you know, I'm going to have something that is, uh, you know, I don't want beer with a little bit of balls to it. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to eat pizza, you want to get a good beer to go with it. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit yeah. of flavor to it, you know? I, a mild IPA, pale ale, something like that. Mm -hmm. Dale's hey, we, pale ale. We've there got go. uh, Brain Dump. He finally jumped in there. Where are you coming from, brother? Hey, guys. From the UK, how are you doing? Oh, oh from cool. Hey, right on. Hello. All right. Nice to meet you. So, what are you drinking right now, bro? Or what, it, It's like one in the morning or something over there, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little late. I just got back from poker, so I'm just having a, a, a little short with some uh, soda. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah, oh, yeah. There you go. What, what, what kind of soda? Anything we're familiar with? Coke, Pepsi, or anything? Uh, I'm familiar with that one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. No advertising. Yeah. <laughs> man, you can't be on this if you're having soda. you got to have a beer, man. I got something else in the soda. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's okay. It, you know what, man? I'm having water. So, I mean, you know, it's... Uh... <laughs> He doesn't like flavored liquids when he's doing it. <laughs> yeah. That's your big Dave. I don't like flavored liquids, man, with my, I'm, I'm sure with my beer. beer, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know I what just, I'm saying? I can just imagine him in the restaurant saying, excuse me, can I have some liquid but with no flavor? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like flavored liquids, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Any liquid, as long as it doesn't have any flavor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was freaking great, man. That's a another classic day. That's a title. That's a title. That, that was, I swear to God, that would if it wasn't <laughs> April Fool's, that's the title of the show right there. <laughs> Where are you from? Um, are you from Liverpool? Liverpool. Where? Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool. cool. Yeah, I was born near London because of my accent. I don't know if you guys picked that up, but um, um, I live near Liverpool now. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I really wouldn't know the difference. What uh, is that? Uh, is, is, I, I imagine you guys know the difference for sure, because I wouldn't know a Liverpool accent from a, a, a London accent. What, what would like us with northern accent and southern accent? Right, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll tell you, if you had two in the same room, you'd know about it. Um, in London, it's the kind of accent I've got really, which is, "All right, how you doing? I'm from London." And then if you were from Liverpool, it's like, all right, all right, what's going on, all right? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I, yeah. You know, I do notice, uh, because where's, where's the, in your show, Mark, where does that guy jump in from? Um, he is right outside of London. Um, I, I do notice that there's some accents over there that I just cannot make out, man. I, and I don't know if that's just a personal thing. You know what I'm that, saying? Or if that's the general... Yeah, Tim, Tim has a, is a pretty heavy... Um, he's east of London, um, not that far outside. I can't remember where exactly, but yeah, he's he's got a. Because you got no hair, Joe. <laughs> See, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, you know, you know, you know what though, Beric? I've got more hair in my ears these days. Oh so hell yeah! There's a lot of. <laughs> there's a yeah. lot of I'm with should... you, Joe. My ears, <laughs> my nose, my back. Mm -hmm. that's what yeah. My head. <laughs> Oh man, back hair's the worst. Dude. Ah! Male biology, let me tell you. You look here, this way. It recedes from your forehead and goes to your back. <laughs> yeah. It would fall out of your head and drop in your nose and your ears and your back, and they take root. You know? There's nothing to do about it. <laughs> this is like the great beard show. Because when when you've got a topic that's you know I'm losing the hair on my head and I've got all this hair in my ears you know I got to keep my my ears covered I've got yeah. so much damn hair in my ears you know what I'm saying and, and then the hair in my nose I'm always like checking my nose you know what I'm saying I'm like you get those you get those flyaways that come out and you gotta get like, man and they tickle. Yeah. Yeah, they tickle you. Know, you got like, got like a, a bat in the cave, you know, and it's really just yeah. that long hair. Yeah, if I had hair on my head, as long as the hair that flies out of my nose at a random moment, I, I know what you're saying, Joe. I'd have a pompadour. I swear yeah, to God, yeah, I'd really. like a, you yeah, know, it's a bat on a string. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
and they're like they're like six gauge wire. I yes, swear I was gonna God. say it's like totally wire. <laughs> He like that, that he was in jail. <laughs> yeah. Even the hair that falls on my shoulder. <laughs> it's, 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 I mean, it's, it's that big around. And it, all, it all happens after age 40. It's like you turn 40 and it just happens. Yeah, it's like... It's like a whoop. switch. You got like these afros flying out of your ears. You yeah, know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. It's like, what the hell is this, you know? Yeah. You look like Mickey Mouse, for Christ's sake. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> what the hell's going I, on here? I trim the hairs in my ears and my nose <laughs> twice a week. The hair on my head once a month. Yeah. <laughs> I keep wondering, you know, I'm like, there should be a barbershop that just, like, seriously <laughs> takes care of all that stuff. No. You know what I'm saying? You know, I... You get to a point where I don't need a haircut anymore. I just need, like, all this stuff plucked. You know well, what, what I'm about, saying? How about your eyebrows? Your, your eye... Oh, they just oh, yeah, like, wild I, hairs that come I out there? Like guys, I got some blonde hairs that, like... Yeah. They'll grow two inches long. Yeah, they'll just, like, appear overnight. It, where, it, where do they go from? Rogue hair. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know when I was getting out, but I went into a barber's and I had a haircut. And it wasn't a normal barber's, right? But then he said, do you want me to do your eyebrows? No. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. The way that cuts my hair, I keep going to her because she does a good job of my hair, but she does a really good job of my eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten that question, too. And, of course, I do trim my own eyebrows. I do a pretty good job of that, but I still get the question. And, of course, uh, I do trim my ears and I do trim my nose. Uh, and, of course, I'm always having to trim the stray hairs on my mustache and on my face. How about your back? <laughs> <laughs> that requires uh, extra mirrors and my trimmer, but I get it done. Wow! I get it. Wow! Stretching. I get wow! It done. No, my my back Here's just easier. I, that's the Italian side of me because I am part Italian, and my back is like you know, forget about it. You know what I'm saying? That yeah, just. Just forget nope. it. But you need you need a spotter to get that bad boy. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? You can continue and use you for a coat. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's that's the old winter coat, right? The there. human yeah. the human sweater. We had a guy in college. It, <laughs> we called him the human yeah. sweater. He had so much yeah. hair on his back. Yeah, the yeah. bear or something like that. Yeah, yeah. oh, dude, yeah, the, the the viewership just shot through the roof. Right yeah, now. man, it was amazing. I'm trying to figure out how we're talking we about it. nose hair, man. Whew. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, that is freaking great. I swear to God. Yeah, how did this come up? It's yeah, a trending topic now. I don't know. Hair. Hashtag nose hair. From? That is, yeah, hashtag, hashtag nose hair, man. Hashtag nose hair, man. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Trending hashtag right now. Hashtag six gauge hair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> awesome. Oh, God, that was freaking hysterical, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, where? I don't even know where that came from. Uh, that is know. that is a riot. That's yeah, a, that's crazy. That's a crazy topic right there. Oh my god! Yeah, that was freaking. Oh my god, that was so funny. Gross yeah, topic. Oh, there we go. Hashtag uh, gross topic. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something real quick. Bill Cosby did a whole comedy bit on that. As he gets older, the hairs fall out of his head, into his ears, into his nose, onto his back. And they yeah. take root. He yep. did a whole comedy bit on that. I mean, it is funny as hell. It's oh, yeah. 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 Bill Cosby was funny as shit. Oh, sure. he's one of the best storytellers. I mean, yes. it's just... there's not a better storyteller than Bill Cosby. Yeah, he does a fantastic job. He's not. He's not necessarily the greatest stand-up guy, but as yeah. far as funny stories. Mm -hmm. You won't find anybody better. Than that. You know, you, I, I'll tell you, one of my favorite comedians, even even right now, I, I still listen to his old stuff, is Red Fox. Man, Red oh, Fox, yes. freaking hilarious. Man. You know, I've yeah. never, seen, I've never even heard his stand up. Oh I my watched, god, uh, that's funny. What, what, what was this? Go back and listen to it. Stanford and Sons. Stanford and yeah. Sons. I watch that every week. But I never seen his stand up. I yeah, oh, Red Fox is a riot, man. His, his, the way his voice and then the way he delivers and everything, which is any comedian really. But yeah, oh my yeah. god, I li I like Red Fox and I like John Panette, dude. That freaking John Panette, man. What a shame. Yeah. That guy is a riot, man. Never. Oh heard. my. Richard oh, you never heard. Of, you never heard of John Panette? Oh, that guy is a freaking riot. 
one of those, you know, heavy set comedians, and all his jokes are, you know, kind of fat jokes. Oh my god, he's freaking. Is he is he kind of a Mexican guy? No, he's definitely white. There's this really funny Mexican guy I've been watching once in a while. I can't remember his name, but he does a lot of imitations of people. You know, uh, oh, uh, I can't. I he's really heavy. I mean, he's really heavy. And he's really short. Oh yeah, you're talking uh, fluffy, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You're talking about that guy does all the fluffy jokes. Um, yeah, I can't. I he can't. imitates everybody. He, yeah. he talks really high. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, that's who. That, you're. Yeah, he's Mr. Fluffy. He's known for. He's not fat. He's fluffy. Okay, yeah. that's right. He loves cake. Yeah. People give him cakes all the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. not. Fat, he's fluffy. <laughs> I like that, man. I like that part. That's freaky. Yeah, that is, he is pretty funny. Um, no, but it, John Panette's one of those, another one of those uh, heavy set uh, white comedians that died early. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. The same thing as like John Candy. John, John Candy, Candy, yeah. Yeah, you know, there is Quiet. one guy, there was a guy, oh, Dave's gone. He looks like Dave with long hair and he talked really slow. And he was a white guy. He was Jewish. He had long hair, covered his eyes. He always acted high. Oh. And he died early. God. I... No, my my favorite Jewish comedian is that uh, the guy that's always kind of pissed off. He's kind of older now. Oh. Um, um. Bill Black? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Black. Yeah. Black is his name. Last name. Yeah. I don't think his first name is Joe, but his last name is Black. Yeah, his last name is Black. Oh, he, he's always pissed off. And yeah, he's, he's always... Oh, God damn, he's a riot. That guy, oh, my God. He's yeah. funny. He's funny as hell. Oh, he <laughs> kills me, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jeff Black or Joe... Yeah. Something Black, right? Yeah. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Something I can't Black. It. Oh, my God. He's freaking so funny. I could listen to that guy, man. <laughs> That guy is great. He's like always in Vegas or something too. Isn't he? Andrew yeah. Dice Clay. That's the guy. Andrew Dice Clay is still kind of funny to me, man. You know what I'm saying? I I couldn't stand yeah. that guy, but that's... <clears throat> he's still kind of funny. I think he's trying to come. <clears throat> he's coming back now or something, isn't he? Um, I don't know. Got it. In any case, man, we better we better close this out. Hey, thanks uh, for joining in there from the UK, brother. Yeah. Okay, in future show, man. Yeah, anytime, man. We we'll always have fun. Yeah, yeah, anytime you're, you know, up at, you know, one in the morning, man, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for a shave now. <laughs> yeah. Lewis Black. That's Lewis what, uh, Black. Yeah. Oh. Lewis Black. Yep. Yeah. Yep. There oh. you go. God. He's Thank you, Lee. You comment on the YouTube ch uh, feeds. There you go. All right. Yeah. If anybody wants to, All right, guys. Uh, if anybody wants to do an after show, I'm gonna start in five minutes, and I'm only gonna do it for like ten minutes. Okay. All right. Do you See want you guys. to jump in real quick? Yeah. Just no, I'm done. Follow Barrett for that, man. Yeah. We'll see you guys. Peace see out, guys. man. Sure. Bye.